she gives me advice. My grandmother, 90 years old, she's telling me how to pick up women. Her whole thing, go to church, baby. <laughs> That's what you need to do, go up to that church. There's a lot of good girls up in the church. You know, my grandmother wants me to work the church. <laughs> Going to church to meet women, that's wrong, isn't it? You know, I'm supposed to go to church, yeah, praise the Lord. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, they got uh, cheese and crackers over here. You want some? <laughs> Going over here. Check that out. What you reading? <laughs> my uncle, who has never been married, tells me how to treat women. My uncle's a bachelor. My uncle tells me, um, you know what you need to do? When you meet a girl, you treat her like your best friend. That's what you do. You have to make sure you and that girl are like best friends. And that's not really true, because some things are very gender specific. You know what I mean? You and your best friend can hang out, see some prostitutes. I don't know if they're prostitutes out in the corners here, but they're prostitutes in America. If I was in a car with my best friend and I saw a prostitute, I just, just, just to mess around, I could yell, hey, how much for the two of us? <laughs> my best friend knows I'm joking. <laughs> Try doing that with your girlfriend in the car. <laughs> you know, so hold on, hey, how much for the two of us? Just, I'm just kidding, I'm having a laugh now. Nah. Nah. You mean that. My dad's a, a Muslim. My whole family's kind of messed up. Um, but not, you know, he joined the Nation of Islam in America. So it's not, you know, not the 72 version type of Muslim. Which, by the way, is not a reward. If you're over 35 and you think dying, and you think paradise is having 72 virgins for eternity, you are sadly mistaken. <laughs> That's the worst thing, because you got to teach all 72 of them how to have sex. <laughs> That's terrible. You don't want to do that. You want to have like 72 whores. You want 72 women who know what the hell they're doing for all eternity. That's paradise. <laughs> 72 virgins is a job. <laughs> That's an eternal job that you really don't want. Um, my father uh, joined the Nation of Islam when Muhammad Ali joined the Nation of Islam. Um, so, you know, 1969, he joins the Nation of Islam, which basically just screwed me out of all holidays. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm six years old, so now you know I'm not really 50. Uh, <laughs> six years old, suddenly there's no Christmas, I had to fast for a month. I didn't appreciate it. <laughs> um, my grandmother, who is, like I said, Christian, would go to the malls with me, take me to see Santa Claus, you know. It's the whole thing. She's taking me to see Santa. You know, I'm sitting on Santa's lap. So what do you want for Christmas, little boy? My father's in the corner. Tell him you want your freedom. <laughs> you want some freedom in that bag, fat man? <laughs> My grandmother couldn't believe it. She freaked out, you know. The baby can't handle Christmas. What do you mean that child can't handle Christmas? It's Christmas time. Uh, my dad's job, apparently, in the Nation of Islam was to find all the plots against the black race, no matter how cleverly hidden, by the white American establishment. So, what he would do is he would take me into a supermarket and point things out to me. My dad would say, you have to ask yourself questions, son. Ask yourself, you know, look at, look at, look at, look at, his, look at his breakfast cereal. Ask yourself, why must I be cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? <laughs> the black cereal you make you crazy? Frosted Flakes, they're great. Cocoa Puffs make you nutty. <laughs> you see, this is just regular rice, but it's brown, so they call it wild rice. <laughs> What's so wild about it? Is Uncle Ben chasing Aunt your mom around the shelves? <laughs> I don't think so. And look at this, why are these black olives in a can? Green olives not in the can. <laughs> the green olives are in a jar. Why do they have to lock the black olives up? <laughs> See, they're trying to tell you, cuckoo, you're too wild, you need to be locked up. Every time you go to the grocery store, that's how the white man gets into your mind. 